Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 26220.5770. Again, the dev channel is on version 25H2, but the OS build or the build number has incremented to this 26220 build, and this OS build will only be used for the dev channel. As a reminder for people that didn't watch the channel, Windows 11 25H2 will be released as version 26200, and it has already been released release to the release preview channel. So of course that should come in about a month time in the main release as well. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by iBoySoft Free Data Recovery. iBoySoft Data Recovery is a no-cost data recovery software that can retrieve deleted or lost files from a PC, HD, SSD, SD card, USB drive and more on Windows in just three simple steps. To start recovering your files, simply select one of the three options in the software, for example data recovery, select a disk, and let the software scan for files that can be recovered even from a BitLocker encrypted drive. After the scan is finished, you can select only deleted files to be shown, search the file manually, or even search the file by name. After you found your files, simply click on recover and select the location where you want to save that file. Start recovering your files today by getting iBoySoft free data recovery from the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, in this build, we have some new AI features that we're going to mention. We can talk about the new Microsoft 365 text action and click to do, which includes converting to table with Excel, viewing Microsoft 365 profile cards, and more. Related to narrator in this build, Microsoft is adding a new feature called Braille Viewer that allows you to see on-screen textual and Braille representation of the outputs shown on a refreshable Braille display. And this is a pretty useful tool for sighted teachers, AT trainers, developers, and testers who do not read Braille Braille or who have limited to no access to a Braille display. As a new feature specific to this build, we can talk about a new Windows Share feature. If I were to open up the File Explorer and then go and select a file and then share it, if we open up the Windows Share window and then we click on Find Apps and here we search for an app, for example Paint, you'll notice that aside from locally installed apps, Microsoft will also show you here Microsoft Store apps and you're going to be able to install them. This is also something that can be found whenever you're trying to open an app with another software. So if we're to hover over open with and then choose another app, you're also going to notice here recommendations from the Microsoft Store. Not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but of course, hopefully Microsoft will recommend useful apps from the Microsoft Store. Also, the Windows OS version of Direct3D12 has been updated to match the Agility SDK 1.61 6.1 package contents. Talking about fixes in this build, for example, related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft fixed an issue where clicking the date and time on a secondary monitor might open the flyout on your primary monitor. And they also fix an issue where if you minimize the nap and switched back and forth between desktops, you might end up seeing a duplicate preview thumbnail when hovering over the app in the taskbar. Related to windowing, they fixed an issue which was causing Explorer.exe to crash when using all plus tab for some insiders in the previous flight. Related to display, they fixed an issue where the setting to enable HDR under settings, system, and then display might turn off after you turn it on, blocking you from enabling it. Related to audio, they fixed an issue which could result in audio not working a few seconds after casting to a TV. Also, some other fixes fix an issue which was causing the drivers for certain smart cars to not work in recent flights, showing error 31. Fix a typo in disk usage help list, disk usage slash question mark. And they also fix an issue where if you had to enter a pin for your device to cast from quick settings, pressing enter wouldn't confirm the pin. And finally, they fix an issue where the tooltip for the abort if insufficient memory setting in Task Manager's advanced section of settings was incorrect. We also have some new known issues related to audio in this build. Some Windows insiders in the dev and the beta channels are experiencing an issue where audio stops working and device manager shows one or more devices with a yellow exclamation mark, including a CPI audio compositor and others. Selecting properties on those devices will show Windows cannot load the device driver for this hardware. This driver may be corrupted or missing, and if you are impacted by this issue, you can follow the following instructions if you want to get back into a working state. If you have a device that has a yellow yellow exclamation mark in device manager, right click on it and then click on update driver. For example, we're going to go to the high definition audio device, click on update driver. And from here, we're going to have to select browse my computers for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. From here, select the driver from the list with the most recent date and then click on next. If you are presented with a list of common hardware types instead of one or more specific drivers, this device is not related to this issue. And also this device should be repaired and no longer show yellow exclamation 
exclamation mark in device manager, it continues to show a yellow exclamation mark. The yellow exclamation mark is not related to this issue. Repeat these steps for each device with a yellow exclamation mark if you encounter this issue on the latest dev or beta channel builds. So this is the latest build for the dev channel. We can still quote a 25H2 preview build. For more information about this build, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man, your home TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.